All right, so in this video, I'm going to be working with some samples that I got off my friend. Um, she sent me some vocals, it's at 70 BPM, so I thought I might as well just try and make the beat in 70 BPM instead of having to stretch it all and be long about it. Um, it did take a while for me to cut out what I actually wanted, but I got it and I figured out how to key it right. So this is a sample, the part of the samples which I chose. Touch is making me feel away. Ooh, ooh. Is that all? Wait, I think that should be more. Yeah. Lay your head on my pillow, say ooh. ooh. Touch is making me feel away. Ooh, ooh. When I get around you, I do. There was more, but um, I think that's what I want to use from it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, make some nice pads to go over it instead of using the piano. The piano's nice, however, I think pads will work better. So I'm going to make my own because I usually use GMS for my pads. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, make my own. So I just start with a saw wave and then I put down the cut off, turn up the amplitude, multiple voices, stereo width. And then I'm just going to copy the chords. I'm going to put it to bar mode. And we'll start working on it. So our voice is quite loud right now, so I'm going to turn it down a little. And there's a lot of delay on that. Let me just turn that down as well. for a little bit. Oh right, I forgot how I done it. I, re I mean, I remember how I done it. I'm going to repeat it, but I'm going to muffle it. it. Should sound quite ambient. And these filters I've actually uh, already set up. This is for the patch parametric, and this is the actual uh, filter. So I want it to close to about here, so I'm going to copy that and make it close once we reach this point. And we have to turn it on here as well. I tend to turn it on and off because, although you might not think it's cutting out anything, even when it's on this max, if you look at the parametric, um, it's still cutting out some of the highs. That's why I tend to turn it off whenever I'm not using it. Lay your head on my pillow, say, ooh, ooh. I ain't loving nobody but you. Touch is making me feel away, ooh, ooh. When I get around you, I lose it. I lose it. I might move this over. But 
this one needs to be cut off as well the counter vocals so I'm going to do that as well um, the counter vocals don't actually have much on it so I'm just going to copy and paste everything into it that way it's easier and then I'm just going to create filters for that as well So it is already looking a bit messy, but um, I'll fix that when, it, when I can be bothered. So that's already quite ambient. What will also make it ambient is um, adding some reverb onto the pads. So I'm going to do that after. Another thing, also the vocals come in quite harshly if you listen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it in uh, Edison. Actually, let me make it unique as sample and then try it because I haven't actually done this properly before but I have seen other producers do it. If I make this unique as sample and then I edit it in Edison, I should be able to fade it in almost basically like so so it's a lot more softer I've heard. It's, a lot, it's a lot more softer and then if I send that to track one and compare it it should sound better so this is the original and this is the changed it's a lot better same for this one. I gotta remember that we're in half time.
I do feel like this beat's quite still quite slow. I might have to speed it up all together, but I don't really want to because I don't I don't enjoy stretching vocals. But um, we'll see.
pads are quite low, but well, they are. That, I think that's what's making it so muddy. And I was, I didn't notice, but they're pretty low. So if I put it up an octave, it should sound a lot better. Let's see. It's a lot more cleaner. It's actually off because I put it down wrong but I do like how it sounds here so I'm going to keep that but move the rest over to where it should where it originally was sounding good I did like I said I do want another instrument but I'm not sure what instrument to actually add let me save it because I'm, I think I'm gonna go to Omnisphere and you know how long Omnisphere takes to open um, um, and I am just gonna quickly try see what it sounds like with a uh, different snare I'm going to use this typical snare which is used all over the place. I just want to see how it sounds with it because I feel like it might work. So if I just go to the snare, mute it and then place this down here and see how it's sounding. I think it sounds better, much better. Yeah. Keep it. Well, I could actually layer them so they bounce.
This part here sounds really good, like it's really standing out to me and I feel like I need to repeat that kind of flow. If you listen to it, I don't know if it's standing out to you, but it's really like sticking out. Like I feel like I could repeat that part there, so I'm going to just cut it and hopefully just place it down. Let's see how we're sounding. I think it is this. So let me just move this up. Having a piano definitely makes it a lot stronger and a lot more broad, so I might add a piano later. But um, yeah, let me go back to Omnisphere and do what I was doing. <clears throat> Let's put melody. I don't want anything too much though, because I do love the simplicity of uh, just the vocal and the heavy beat. I'm gonna go to Ethnic World. They have good, uh, good percussion. See what this is. Nope, it's too harsh. I want something quite soft. Oh, maybe a octa harp sounds good. Make sure this is first though. Let me try the flute. <coughs> because it's throwing me off slightly. I'm 
I'm going to make a different 808 for this part as well because I feel like I can do a lot of slides here. And 808 slides sound really cool. So I'm just going to extend it. Ooh. I'm just going to extend this. <coughs> uh, make unique. And then we're just going to edit it as we go along. I am going to keep the flute right now, but I'm not sure. I feel like it might get taken out a bit soon. Um. I'm still unsure. I'm going to see how that harp that I found on, um, Atmosphere sounds. Just out of curiosity. Right, so here's the um here's the heart. Sounds pretty nice. I could make a uh arpeggio kind of thing. good now I've got to figure out where I want her actual normal vocal to be like the actual chorus 
if she's having the chorus, I don't even know. That should be cool. No, sorry, this is gonna be a start of the verse, isn't it? pretty much it like I said um, next video I should have some vocals should be alright and uh, yeah I hope you like some of that and thanks for watching